Today with Marilyn and Sarah and all you gorgeous, wonderful partners. We thank you and appreciate you. And I have a testimony here from Susie, and she's been having problems with COVID, and God has touched her body and healed her. Hallelujah. Is that wonderful? I think it is. And then, Sarah, you want to share with us yeah. today? Yeah. And you know, Mom, we have people who are watching that have needs in their lives as yes, well. Yes, we do. I mean, Susie's a great testimony, but you might be watching and maybe you're struggling uh, in terms of your marriage or you're struggling with some financial <laughs> difficulties. Maybe you're watching right now and you recently got a diagnosis from the doctor that's very discouraging to you. Maybe you're just struggling and trying to find a job and employment struggles, but we know that God answers prayer. So hop on the phone, get on the website, and let us pray for you because God absolutely, I think our needs are opportunities for God to participate, invitations if we let them be, for God to participate in our lives. And there is nothing impossible with God. That says it in Luke 1, 37, nothing is impossible with God. And so no matter if you think, oh, well, that's just huge, this is a massive thing, or this is just microscopic and why bother God with it? But for God, nothing is immense and too overwhelming or too microscopic. God is able to step into all of the needs in your life for help, divine intervention, and resolution. So I want to invite you as well to watch this interview now with Sandra Dalton-Smith on a special book that she's written called Set Free to Live Free. And you think, well, I am free. And that would be great if it was actually totally true. Maybe you're not as free as you think you are. You're like, really? Well, how would I know? How would I know about maybe bondage or freedom? Watch now. Sarah Bowling, Living Genuine Love, is on a mission to connect every one with the heart of God. With a passion for the Bible and the gift of teaching, Sarah brings a new perspective to articulate God's life-giving revelation to our modern moment. God's heart relentlessly reaches all our hidden places and changes us from the inside out. And Living Genuine Love is equipping people with resources and tools that empower them to walk in this intimate relationship with God. Sarah is a powerful scholar and spirit-led teacher with a gift and passion that takes her many places around the world to bring lasting change to each of us who are craving the transformative love of God. At Living Genuine Love, we're committed to seeing you walk in a vibrant relationship with God every day. Learn more about Sarah Bowling and her ministry, Living Genuine Love, by visiting sarahbowling.org or call us at 800-627-1995. Thank you so much for joining today with Marilyn and Sarah. We are thrilled to have you with us and... I'm super thrilled to introduce to you our cool guest, Sandra Dalton-Smith. So good Woo! to have you. Oh, thank so you. So good to have you. We are thrilled you're here, but not everyone in our audience is familiar with you. So can you give us kind of a little quick bio, and then we'll jump into this really great book, Set Free to Live Free. Oof, I like it. Yes, um, I've been an internal medicine physician for the past 20 years, and about 10 years ago started writing as a way of helping my patients connect the physical part of their health with the spiritual part of their health. That's great. That's great. So how how does that relate to each other? I mean, why why is there spiritual needs and how does that connect with physical needs? Yes, well, I think that's the thing. As a physician, so many times people were coming into my practice and I would do all the battery of tests and everything would be perfectly normal, but they were still having symptoms. And so as I started discussing with them kind of what's going on with their life, their lifestyle, the things that they were concerned with, their their fears, their anxieties, what I was noticing is that many times what the physical complaints they were having were related to some of the emotional and spiritual wounds that they were dealing with, mm -hmm. these places in their life that they really just needed a, a deeper understanding of how God could meet them in their healing process with that. Mm -hmm. And you might be watching right now, maybe you have some physical maladies, but you also are aware, hey, there's some pressure on me. There's some anxiety, some worry, some fear, insecurity. We would love to pray for you. Hop on the phone. Get on the website. We want to pray that God would heal you physically as well as whatever's going on in your soul. That God has healing for, for you from the inside all the way to the outside. And Sandra, you wrote this book called Set Free to Live Free. And the idea is that we're not free. Yes. <laughs> and why do you say that? Because I... 
the, the subtitle is Breaking Through the Seven Lies Women Tell Themselves because I find that many of the patients I was seeing were women and many of them were living under these kind of mindsets that were keeping them from fully enjoying their lives. And so they were struggling with these areas and then they would manifest it through a physical complaint that they were having. And what we really needed to do was to get freedom from that. It was the bondage is what they were experiencing, that bondage, that feeling of, of not really being able to fully live their life in the abundant way that God has for them. Mm -hmm. Kind of like trapped in a lie. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. What would some of those lies be? Well, the, the very first one was that perfection is the goal. Mm. Had so many women saying, well, I'll get to that if I, you know, once I've perfected or, or let me keep working at something or let me try to hit this particular mark. And people were striving and striving when really they just needed to begin somewhere. Hmm. You know, there was a, there's this pressure to make sure that it was perfect and that they got it just right. You know, and the, the problem with that lie is it keeps you striving and never satisfied. Because perfection is different. Right. Well, if I asked you, what's your perfect meal? It'll be different for you, different for you, and different for exactly. me. And so you can never hit perfection because it doesn't really exist. Hmm. And you have breaking through the seven lies women tell themselves. Mm -hmm. So women tell themselves these things. Yes. And you'll know the truth, and the truth will make you free. Absolutely. You need to get the book, and you'll love this program. Mm -hmm. When you think about perfection, how does that play out? Because like, I don't think, I, I don't see myself as being a perfectionist, but maybe that's a blind spot. And what are some um, indicators of that struggle or that lie mm -hmm. with perfection? Well, if you have a difficult time resting, if you find that you're always in to-do mode, you're always achieving, you, you feel like the work actually has more value than the rest. And so you're pushing yourself always to try to kind of get to the next level, never getting to a place of satisfaction, really being able to, to sit back and be thankful or grateful for even the spot that you're at. You know, one example that I use in the book is when someone had the, their mother over and their mother came over and before the mother would come, that particular patient, she would spend like all day cleaning the house all day trying to get it perfect. She never used those words, but she was trying to live up to a certain standard that her mother never put on her. Seriously? She thought it had to look a certain way or her mother would not be pleased. Her mother just wanted to be with her grandchildren and her daughter. Mm. She wasn't caring what the house looked like. <laughs> hmm. And you might be on that gerbil wheel right now. You might be in that trap, like perfect, 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 and not satisfied, not settled, not in, in a state of rest. If you feel kind of anxious and always chasing and doing and performing, we would like to pray for you. <laughs> we would like to pray for you because I venture to say you might be kind of tired, <laughs> possibly really tired. So hop on the phone, get on the website and uh, let us pray for you, but also grab your copy of Set Free to Live Free. Um, because I think these are lies that we, like you say, we tell each other, mm -hmm. um, tell ourselves, but they're blind spots too. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they end up being limitations because what happens is because you're functioning under that lie, you know, I always say that the truth that you believe is the one that's operating in your life. And so we have to really get to a place where we are detaching from the lies and then clinging to the truth of God's word, because that's when we move to that place of freedom. Clinging, yeah, that's so. That's a good word. And you need to get the book, our books, and all you have to do is call us, you know. And we we like to pray. We don't counsel, but we like to pray with you. Set free to live free, breaking through the seven lies women tell themselves. I think. What do we tell ourselves? And so, you know, we need to know what's going on. We need to know how to help people. And books are missionaries. They work while you sleep. That's really good. And one of the things you talk about is um, a changing point in your career that made you kind of shift um, from strictly medical. What, what was that changing point? Well, I remember one day a particular patient walked in and so she was rattling off her list of complaints. And the whole time she was talking in the back of my, my mind, I could, I could sense Holy Spirit prompting me, share with her your testimony. And I'm like, I'm not sharing with her. <laughs> I'm a doctor. I don't do that. And so she kept talking and, you know, I went through the normal physician patient relationship type thing. And I walked out of the room and I was getting ready to write her a prescription for something that would help with the symptoms. 
not actually help solve the problem, but just treat the symptoms so that she could sleep better and get some rest. And I was sitting at my desk and I really felt like um, the Holy Spirit just impressed on me. Are you going to leave her in that situation? You know that prescription is not going to help. Ooh. And I thought, what do, you, what do you do with that? <laughs> you know, what do you do with that? I felt like it was the moment that Jesus said to me, are you going to follow me? Or are you just going to say you're going to follow me? Mm. Because following me is not going to always feel the way you think it's going to feel. It's going to stretch you. It's going to call you out of your comfort zone. It's going to require you to sometimes do things out of the prompting of my spirit that doesn't line up with your rationale. Mm -hmm. And so that was a changing point in my life. I remember sitting down and I, I had the prescription pad and I'm sitting here thinking, what, what do I do? This woman was an attorney. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> She's an attorney, oh, highly there. respected within my yeah. community. Yeah. And I, I remember I walked back in there with that prescription pad and I just had to say, you know, I feel like there's more to this than just needing a sleeping pill or just needing something to help you relax. Uh, I think there's something deeper. And if you're willing to go on this journey with me, I, I'm willing to do it with you. Uh, and, I, and I just kind of wrote out these things that I thought would be helpful. And she said, I'm willing for whatever help you can give. Wow. And I felt like that was an open door to a new season of my, my life and my career as a physician. Mm -hmm. That's really fascinating because sometimes our training, like to become a, a medical doctor, it's kind of a lot of work. <laughs> oh. <laughs> a little bit. Oh, <laughs> Takes yes. a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of <laughs> purpose and tension. Yeah. And then when you get into the profession, I mean, you're, you're trained to do X, Y, and Z. Mm -hmm. And so what you're saying is I used all that training, but then kind of went off script. Yes, that's a great way of putting it. That's exactly right. And, and you know, going off script sometimes feels scary. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it, it, it does. It was one of those moments where I, I just had to trust that, first of all, that I was hearing Holy Spirit correctly, because if I got it wrong, that could be a very bad situation. But, but I... I you know, the word says, my sheep know my voice. Yeah. And I, I knew I wouldn't have had that thought because there's no way I would have right. thought something like that. Right, right. And if you're struggling to follow mm -hmm. Jesus, you know, it's sometimes you're like, man, that doesn't make sense. Or, wow, that feels awkward. Or that seems to run contrary to popular opinion. Uh, we would love to pray for you. We would love to pray that you would have strength on the inside. Ephesians 3.16, the Holy Spirit would give you, make you strong on the inside and that you could walk with Holy Spirit into truth and also into freedom. Hop on the phone, get on the website, and of course, grab your copy of Set Free to Live Free. We're going to come back in a little bit and talk some more about the seven lies that we, we women tell ourselves so that we can walk in greater freedom today. Do you struggle with fear and insecurities? Do you dream of a life with unlimited potential and possibilities? Many women have trouble seeing this vision as a reality because they are bound by mental ties that keep them from living free. For your gift of $39 or more, we will send you Set Free to Live Free by Sandra Dalton Smith. In this inspirational book, you will learn how to break free from seven barriers that hold you back, including striving for perfection, all or nothing attitudes, comparing yourself to others, and more. We will also send you Sarah's book, Hey God, Can We Talk?, our Speak the Word booklet, and Marilyn's Declare Today teaching CD. For your gift of $85 or more, we will include our alabaster flask and frankincense anointing oil. Set yourself and others free with the power of prayer and the anointing of oil. Break through the lies and be set free. Call or click today. I don't have enough nutrition. I might starve. I live where there are little resources. I don't have a safe place to deliver my baby. We live in a war zone. And then saving Moses. Saving Moses gives me a safe place to sleep at night. Moses gave me the therapeutic milk I need to thrive. 
Saving Moses provided someone to help me deliver my baby safely. Welcome back to Sandra Dalton Smith on Set Free to Live. And I think there's some very important things here that we're going to deal with. So Sandra, what do you think as a woman, we see, why do you mm -hmm. think we struggle more than men? Or is it true that we do? Well, I think the thing is some of the, these particular lies that I address, the ones about image and the ones about envy, women do tend to struggle more with because there's such an emphasis on how we look. And then we have the media showing us these certain images. Right. And then we have now social media so we can peek inside the houses of other people and, and then do these comparisons that then just put even more stress upon us right. and actually put more limitations upon us because then we think we have to fit into whatever that image is. True. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as a woman, sometimes we struggle with these lies and you might be struggling just in your own sense of, of your own image and, you know, value and I'm not worth it or, you know, insecurities. And we would love to pray for you along that line. So any kind of insecurities or image issues, hop on the phone, get on the website and, of course, grab your copy of Set Free to Live Free. And so when you talk about image and the lie that goes with the image thing. Um, what, what's kind of some of that trap that we could, we fall into unknowingly? Well, that we all have to fit this kind of certain image box, you know, if it's straight hairs in, curly hairs out or, um, size six is in size 16 is out, <laughs> you know, all of these things so that if you don't fit the in mm -hmm. group, then you start disqualifying yourself from different situations. It actually helps add to and feed those feelings of insecurity, all of those fears and self doubts. It makes you more withdrawn because then you feel like, well, I'm not going to fit society's mold of what that should look like. Mm -hmm. Well, and I think people help that. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. maybe your neighbors, maybe your children, mm -hmm. who knows what's being said to you. So you got to get where you know what God says and what yes. his image is of you. That's so key. You're going to love the book, Set Free to Live Free. And I tell you, I have a slap happy life, but I learn how the word gets you free and keeps you free. Nice. You know, too, you talk about mental health and spiritual health. Mm -hmm. And and does that have an impact on our physical health? Yes. One of the sections in the book is about emotions. And I think that's, you know, we, we have to see that that emotional aspect of it adds to our freedom. Because, you know, if emotionally you start feeling depressed, then that's going to add to the physical, which is then going to prevent you from being able to live free because you're going to start thinking about, well, I can't do this because of my own fears, or I shouldn't attempt this or try these different things. And I think that's when I look at freedom, that's actually what I'm discussing, the freedom to move with God, the freedom to actually be moved by Holy Spirit. Sometimes it's our emotions that's preventing us from doing it. Sometimes it's envy because we, I can't do it like this person, so I shouldn't even try. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's image because you're seeing yourself as less than for whatever reasons. Sometimes it's perfection because you're trying to get it a certain way rather than just trying to do it with excellence, which is really all God asks of us. He doesn't ask us to do it perfect. Just do it with excellence. Mm -hmm. You know, and excellence, I, I love that kind of um, opposite way of looking at perfection because excellence is actually a place where you can grow. What's excellence mm -hmm. today for you as you grow, your level of excellence grows. Mm -hmm. That's good. Say that again. Yes. As you grow, that level of excellence, excellence grows. grows. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And you might be struggling right now on that perfection trap. I know we prayed about this earlier, but I just encourage you to hop on the phone, get on the website. Um, we want to pray for you that you don't have to fall into that trap and, and go down that cycle again. Endless tiring cycle. It's so draining. Make sure as well you grab your copy of Set Free to Live Free. You know, here's something to think about, Sandra. Um, like I like the, I'm not much of a perfectionist. So, but what I do think that I, the term I use is practice, right? Mm -hmm. I'm practicing. I'm not perfect. Perfect is for heaven, but practice is for earth, 
Yeah. <laughs> That's good. That's yeah. good. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. good, Because it helps me in my mind. It's like, yeah. well, I'm not going to get it right, and yeah. that's okay because I'm practicing. I'm doing it better than the last time Yeah, <laughs> or different. <laughs> and that's the thing. You have the freedom to, to move with God because if you're, try- if you're not doing the practicing, then you're not free to move with Him. And I feel like that's uh, for so many people that they're not living that full life that you mentioned. They're not enjoying the adventure with God because life with God is fun. Mm. It's an adventure. There's new things every day, but you have to have the freedom to be able to live like that. Mm-hmm. Well, and I think we need to encourage one another. Mm-hmm. And when somebody does something well, tell them. Yes. You know, don't just admire them, but say, you really look nice or you really sang well, uh, did sing well. You did all these things. Mm-hmm. I think complimenting your children, your grandchildren, they need to know that you think they're the best thing since sliced bread. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing, too, and, you know, I think the patient you were talking about earlier, was Cameron, is that the mm-hmm. one you talked yeah. about in the book? Mm-hmm. Um, so she was kind of a ground zero, yeah. right, for this shift. So how do you see your freedom um, increase from Cameron moving forward? It was uh, it was amazing really to watch how God worked within that, because that first that was I felt like one of the first times that I really heard God and responded in the moment. Didn't go sit for three weeks and pray about it. It was in the moment. She was in the room. I had to respond right then and there. And it gave me courage to do that other times. And so other times when uh, different patients would come in or different situations that were not even in a medical practice, maybe at a church or at a function um, within the community, feeling God or Holy Spirit kind of prompt me on something and not and understanding that I can't hear God. I can hear God and respond in the moment. And even if I don't get it right, I'm following hard. I'm doing the best I can yeah. with, in that moment. Mm-hmm. And I think that that journey adventure is kind of the, it is a walk away from perfection, mm-hmm. right? Because in your up training with medical and all, it's kind of like, well, here's the protocols and here's how to perfectly execute those protocols. But you didn't do that. Exactly. And I love it because uh, when I first got started with this whole journey, and of course, I had to walk through these seven lies my own self. That's how it usually yeah. works. As I was walking through this journey, I remember the very first time God asked me to speak. And, you know, when I wrote the book, I was like, you know, God, I'll write the book. Just don't ask me to speak. You know, I'm an introvert. I don't want to be in front of people. But it wasn't that I was an introvert. It was I was scared. I was scared of what other people would think. I was scared of getting it wrong, not doing it perfect. I, I, you know, I had all these other fears and insecurities. And during that process, you know, God really showed me how to accept that I don't have to perform for his presence to be felt. Hmm. That I can so rest good. in him so and just good. be willing. Hmm. And I think that's tricky because there's so much performance, hmm. so much performance in our culture. Mm-hmm. Right. And the social media, I mean, we're performing all the time. Um, what would you say to somebody who might be struggling with control? Well, that's the thing. We never really have control. <laughs> that's why it's so frustrating. That's why it's a lie. Because, And that's why I think for, for particularly, uh, I find this a lot with women who are parents. We feel like if we can keep a tight grasp on our children, we can protect them from pain. We can keep them from making mistakes. And that actually ends up being just extra stress on ourselves that we really never had control over in the first place. Mm -hmm. And really getting to that place of trusting God and being able to release our children unto Him, because they're not ours anyway. (laughs) It all belongs to Him, even our children. And I think that's the the, the mindset shift that we have to make to be able to really start living free and not living under fear. Mm -hmm. Really good. I think so too. And I think there's nothing that is closer to you than your children. You know, and if you want to just take a moment and call in, give the names of your children for prayer, it's okay, because we like to pray. And I know with Sarah, with my children, my grandchildren, prayer pays. It really does. So don't give up. Oh, they're a mess. Well, they're not going to stay that way. They're going to be a miracle. Amen. Really good. And if you're watching right now and you're struggling with control issues, you're like, I have to be in control. I can't let somebody else drive or make decisions or whatever. We want to pray for you that God would set you mm-hmm. free 
from that that fear, that compulsive control, that like I can't be out of bounds, I can't be out of control. God can give you freedom uh, in that place of bondage. So hop on the phone, get on the website, and of course, grab your copy right now of Set Free to Live Free. We want you to have a life victorious in Christ. Do you struggle with fear and insecurities? Do you dream of a life with unlimited potential and possibilities? Many women have trouble seeing this vision as a reality because they are bound by mental ties that keep them from living free. For your gift of $39 or more, we will send you Set Free to Live Free by Sandra Dalton Smith. In this inspirational book, you will learn how to break free from seven barriers that hold you back, including striving for perfection, all or nothing attitudes, comparing yourself to others, and more. We will also send you Sarah's book, Hey God, Can We Talk?, our Speak the Word booklet, and Marilyn's Declare Today teaching CD. For your gift of $85 or more, we will include our alabaster flask and frankincense anointing oil. Set yourself and others free with the power of prayer and the anointing of oil. Break through the lies and be set free. Call or click today. I know this program has been so powerful for you to live, to walk out of deception and lies into freedom. So, Sandra, would you pray for our audience My to pleasure. live in that freedom? Yes. yes. Father, we just thank you. We thank you that your freedom is available to us. Lord, we thank you that for every lie that the enemy has brought to, into our lives, Lord, that you have a truth within your word. Lord, we just pray for every woman right now and every man who's ever lived under the pressure mm -hmm. of one of these lies, God. Your freedom is available. And we just thank you, Jesus, that you're able to move us into that place of freedom, move us into that place of living that abundant, overflowing life that you have available for us. We pray, God, that every, every area of boundaries, every area of bondage be broken. And we give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' name, right? Amen. Amen. It's wonderful. Yeah. And you know, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. I want you to say that. I believe this is the best day of your life. Why? Because you can do everything that you're supposed to do. And I tell myself that sometimes when I get up in the morning and think, oh dear, you know, I have all this to do. How am I going to get it done? But I can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. And we'd love to have you call. We'd love to have you get the books. Folks, I have to constantly be reminded of the good things God has for me. It's not something I do it one day and that takes care of it. I need to do it every day. God bless you. May this be the very best day of your whole life.